in this video, we're going to be looking at Microsoft Office's OneNote. OneNote can usually be found in some student editions of Microsoft Office, as well as the Microsoft Office 2007 Ultimate Suite, which is how I got mine. So we're going to go to the Start menu, and I have recently opened up OneNote, so I'm going to go ahead and open it from this uh, quick list here in the Start menu. And we have here OneNote. Now OneNote is a really nice program for collaborating your ideas, getting organized, and basically it's like having a digital notebook on your computer. A realistically uh, digital notebook on your computer. This is basically what it is. On the left side here, well first let's uh, talk about the menus. There are no ribbons here like in most uh, 2007 versions of uh, Microsoft Office programs. You just have the standard menus. So let's take a look at this. On this left side here we have notebooks. This can be collapsed and opened. These this pane shows you all the opened notebooks you have as of right now. And um, we have here a workbook. These are all the default workbooks, by the way. And you have a workbook, a personal notebook, and the OneNote 2007 guide notebook. So you have three default notebooks. You can change these and delete them if you choose to. So we have notebooks here, and within these notebooks we have sections. And these sections are represented by tabs here. Within this uh, work notebook we have these tabs. These are all sections. We have uh, meetings, meeting notes, project A, project B, research, travel, planning, and miscellaneous. And this is all stuff found in the uh, work notebook. And within these sections we have pages. So you can add pages into each section becoming even more organized. Like in travel we have about this section we have trip one, transportation, hotel information, sightseeing, trip two. So all of these basically this is a great program to keep organized with all of the information and this way you never have to buy any notebooks because you can have everything here. And I'm going to show you how you can add um, rule lines to make it really look like a notebook. One thing I need to point out about OneNote, you can, there is no save button. When you go to file, you can save your notebook as uh, notebooks, OneNote notebooks, but there is no save button here, which means uh, when you close, like if you make changes to your notebook, OneNote saves it automatically. So you never have to press the save button. You can just close the program and OneNote will automatically save whatever you were doing. When you open or when you close, anytime you close your notebook after you've been doing something, it automatically saves it. And the next time you open it back up, it will have all of the information that you changed right there. So um, OneNote is very flexible, um, different, but very flexible. So we have a notebook here. Let's go ahead and play around with this. I want to create a new workbook, or notebook I should say. So to do this, we can either go to new, and we can say new page for the section we're on, a new sub page, which is, which is basically a page within a page, a new section, a section group, notebook. We want to create a new notebook. Now we have some options here. These are all templates. We want to create a blank notebook. And we're going to call it the Microsoft 64-bit notebook. 
And when we do this, it's gonna ask us some questions. Will I use will I use it on this computer? Will I use it on multiple computers? Multiple people will share the notebook. I would just use it on this computer. Save it. And here we have a notebook. And we can see the color of the notebook here. We want to change the color of the notebook. We can go to properties. I want mine to be red. And so we have one section within this new notebook, Microtas 64 bit. And this tab represents the first section. We can give it a name. service pack one and we have some pages uh, an untitled page I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to view and I'm gonna say task pane and this brings up the task pane which is actually on the right and you have various options here it's very similar to if you were working with um, publisher I'm gonna go ahead and say paid settings and you can edit your entire notebook and, and and customize it through here and I'm gonna change the look of this because I don't want this plain uh, blank spot I want mine to look like actual paper so I'm gonna go ahead and choose the narrow rule you can have all kinds of rules and you see this makes it look like a real sheet of paper use a college rule standard wide very large so you can use some you have options I like to use the narrow and we can list some pages here like I want to put the first episode we can try to select this but I can't so we'll just shrink this a little bit we can type what we have here we have episode triple zero intro video and that's the name that I've given this page and I'm assuming that I'm going to be typing some stuff here about the first uh, episode or the pre-episode and we can create a new section here called service pack 2 and I'm just showing you the uh, sections and you can actually create a section group which is a group of sections we have a new section group right here and we can name this exclusive service pack and when we click in the in this new section group we can add some new sections Windows XP and these are all new uh, sections representing service packs in our Microsoft 64 bit what about visual Studio. What about another one? A new section called Unix Profes Professionals. And when we click this green arrow, it'll take us back to our main notebook. And this is basically a notebook within the notebook, this group of sections, this exclusive service pack. Another nice feature is when you're typing, you can type anywhere. Want to type any old thing? It's also smart if you want to do five plus, say, it'll give you some answers. Equals what? Okay, and we hit enter. It gives us ten. So it's very smart. And it does have spell check. I just wanted to make sure. 
So go ahead. You can also purchase more notes separately. You don't have to buy it in a suite. It's a great program and it'll definitely keep you organized. And um, so that's it for this video. We just wanted to look at Microsoft Office's OneNote.